In today's macro photography tutorial, we're taking a look at the inside of mushrooms. I'm going to be getting very close, getting some lighting out and shooting the inside of these mushrooms right here on my coffee table. Hi guys, I'm Ben from Adapt Looks, and welcome to another macro photography tutorial. Now, if you've seen a lot of my videos, you know that I'm uh, quite a fun guy, but I don't leave mushroom in my videos for puns. We're taking pictures of mushrooms today. <laughs> we're, we're going to be taking a really close look at all of these gills on the inside of the mushrooms. There's uh, lots and lots of fine detail inside here that we can get really close in. We can uh, get our lighting out and we can get some really nice patterns and possibly abstract shots uh, of the inside of our mushrooms. I'm going to uh, get straight into it today. I'm going to set up on my coffee table and get shooting. So this is my camera setup for today. I've got a 100mm Tekina macro lens attached to my Sony a7 III camera and that's on a macro focus rail. We're going to be doing some focus stacking today. I want to get a lot of detail and a lot of sharpness out of my mushrooms. I've got all of that sat on top of my tripod and my camera is pointed downwards. This is because I want to be moving down through my mushroom, moving my plane of focus down through all of those gills on the inside of my mushrooms and there's a lot of them. They're very cool. Uh, they're looking uh, really, really interesting even to my naked eye. So I think when we get even closer and if we can get some really nice sharp stacked shots, we're going to get some really interesting images. I've got a few different mushrooms here, three really big ones, and I've got a few woodland mushrooms as well, which are a little bit smaller, uh, much finer detail, but they have white gills on the inside rather than these brown ones. The brown gills on these mushrooms are going to be quite tricky to light. I think we're going to get a lot of overexposure on these uh, white parts of the mushroom and struggle to light quite as much of these uh, interior areas as I might like. That's going to take a lot of control over our lighting, which comes in the form of the Adapt Look Studio. Taking control over your lighting doesn't necessarily mean adding a lot of complexity. Sometimes it just means literally being able to control where your light is coming from. Today I'm going to be keeping things really simple. I'm going to be using two white lighting arms and two white diffusers. These are level two diffusers, so they'll give us a moderate amount of diffusion and keep the lighting nice and soft and our shadows softened. I'm going to be plugging these into our control pod, which is on a mini tripod today so that I can bring my lighting arms around independently of where the camera's pointing. You can quite easily mount it to the camera in this situation as well, and you'd have two lighting arms coming down either side. Um, but I think just for that extra flexibility, I'm going to be using it off camera. I'm just going to be plugging in these two white lighting arms and bringing them down nice and close into our mushroom so that we can get a little bit of diffused light into these sort of cavernous areas on our mushrooms. A couple of weeks ago we were talking about how to make the most out of texture on the surface of your subjects. Shooting the insides of my mushrooms is no different. I'm using a lot of the same techniques, uh, placement of my light, and not only trying to get enough light onto the inside of my mushroom, but place it in a way that makes this surface texture pleasing to the eye. There's a lot of relief here. There's also uh, a sort of wavy pattern going on. Um, we have all of these uh, overhanging pieces of the mushroom to get light in underneath, or perhaps to use a little bit of shadow to create that depth of the mushroom itself. There's a lot that we can do to uh, really show off the interesting facets of our mushrooms. And the mushrooms that I've got have a few different styles to them. This one is very deep. It's got a very deep overhang. There's a, there's a lot of detail underneath the rim here. Whereas with this mushroom, I've got uh, not much rim and a lot of these gills visible. So I'm going to uh, get a few shots of each of these, a couple of different styles, a couple of different placements of my light and see which I like best. Thank you. 
When you've found a nice area of your mushroom that you want to photograph, it's time to focus and focus stack. The way that I do this using my Sony is by using the focus peaking setting. A lot of different cameras have this. My Sony mirrorless uh, is very good at it. It has these very, very uh, fine lines that you can um, set to show you exactly where your image is in focus. They show up as yellow or red. You can change all of this in the settings and you can move your camera in and out and see exactly where the focus is on your subject. This is really handy for focus stacking. As you move your camera in and out and take your images, you can see uh, the slices of your image that are getting captured, ready to be stacked. It's very, very handy as well for single images. You can just see exactly where the focus is going to be and you can use the focus magnifier setting as well to get even closer and double check that everything is pinpoint sharp. For a subject like this with very fine details, I definitely recommend double, triple checking all of your focus to make sure that everything is sharp as it possibly can be. That's what's really going to be eye-catching with these very fine uh, ribs and gills on the inside of the mushroom. Lastly, I did want to take a little look at these little uh, uh, woodland mushrooms that I've got as well. You can see the difference in the size to the mushrooms that we've been shooting so far, but there's also that difference in color. This dark texture on the inside, uh, it's very hard to light. It doesn't reflect the light very well, so you need to get extra light down here, which then uh, leaves this exterior a little bit open to overexposure. Whereas this one, everything is a nice uniform color and the gills on the inside still Still pick up the light really well. Uh, you can light this with only one light source and it still makes for a really nice image and highlights that surface texture. Exploring around on the inside of the mushrooms is great fun. Finding all of these interesting crevices and getting in uh, not only your lens, but your lighting into all of these overhangs and finding the interesting patterns in the, uh, the gills of the mushroom is a great challenge. If you've got a dark uh, mushroom like this, I'd be really interested to know how you found lighting it. I did find it a little bit tricky to balance that exposure between the inside and the outside of the mushroom, uh, but I think I managed it all right. With the focus stacking, we've got some really nice, sharp, uh, detailed images. I'm almost out of time for today. However, there's one more thing that I wanted to do with these mushrooms, taking a look at them under UV light. That's something that I'm going to be doing in a future video, so make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss that. I'd like to know what you think to today's shoot and the images that I've got, so make sure to go and let me know down in the comments. Leave the video a like if you enjoyed it. For now though, guys, that's all that I've got time for. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.